I'm gonna show you how to enable TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot so you can finally get Windows 11. If you tried installing Windows 11 or have used the Microsoft PC Health Check app, you might have been greeted with the dreaded, this PC can't run Windows 11 error message. Well, not all hope is lost. Before you run out and buy a new PC just to get Windows 11, there are some settings that you can check which might be disabled that are keeping you from passing Windows 11's compatibility check. I'm talking about TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. These two security settings that Microsoft has required manufacturers to include in computers since 2016. The problem, however, is that many computers ship with these features disabled, and it's not a setting that can easily be changed. So it's highly unlikely that you've ever even seen the option to enable it. I'm gonna show you how to get into your computer's BIOS and enable TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. But first, let's talk about what TPM is. TPM, or Trusted Platform Module, is a small device known as a crypto processor. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with cryptocurrency. It is a chip that is attached to your motherboard designed to enhance hardware security during your computer's startup. TPM can also take the form in a virtual or firmware variety. So it's a good idea to keep your motherboard's BIOS updated. Now let's talk about Secure Boot. Secure Boot is a feature in your computer software that controls which operating systems are allowed to be active on your machine. It is both a good and a bad thing. On one hand, it can prevent certain classes of malware and ransomware from taking over your machine, but it can also prevent you from being able to install a second OS. So if you wanted to experiment with Linux, Secure Boot could stop you. It also plays a part in preventing Windows pirating. I'll be guiding you in a broad sense since every BIOS is slightly different, but I will give you some tips on what to look for specifically. And I'll show you how to get into your BIOS if you've never been in it. But do be warned, changing settings in your BIOS can change the way your computer functions for better or worse. So use good judgment when changing settings in the BIOS. And if you feel unsure or uncomfortable once you're in the BIOS, you can always exit without saving. And as always, back up any important information or data you do not want to lose before starting this process. To enable TPM or Secure Boot, we need to get into the computer's BIOS. To do this, navigate to the Start menu, then click Settings, click on Update and Security. On the left menu, click on Recovery. Then under the Advanced Startup, click Restart Now. The machine will reboot into this blue window. Click on the Troubleshoot option, then the Advanced options. Look for the UEFI firmware settings, then click Restart. The system will reboot and load into the BIOS. If you don't have the UEFI firmware settings, there is another way of getting into the BIOS, but it requires quick fingers. Start by turning off your computer, then turn it back on. As it boots up, you might have seen a manufacturer logo. During this screen, you'll have to quickly press or tap a key on your keyboard. On some splash screens, you'll see a line of text at the bottom saying press F2 to enter setup or system configuration F2. Depending on what kind of computer you have, it might be a different key. It could be any key ranging from F1, F2, F8, F10, F11, and even the delete key. For my motherboard here, I'll use the delete key. Once in the BIOS, you're going to look for an option or tab called security. More than likely, you'll have to use your keyboard to navigate the menu. Once you're in the security section, you'll be looking for TPM settings. It could be labeled in a variety of ways. It could be TPM device, TPM security, trusted platform module, or any variation of that. On some Intel systems, it'll be labeled as PTT or Intel Trusted Platform Technology. And on AMD systems, it will appear as AMD FTPM switch or just FTPM. Now, whatever you do, do not clear, update, or restore the TPM. This will cause you to lose all of the data that's encrypted by the TPM, and this cannot be undone or reversed. 
The only option we want to touch in this window is one that enables or turns on the TPM. Once enabled, navigate to the exit screen, then click save and restart. To enable Secure Boot, head back into the BIOS. The Secure Boot setting could be in a few different areas depending on your manufacturer. It could be under the Boot tab, the Security tab, or an Authentication tab. Once you've found the Secure Boot setting, go ahead and enable it. Then save and exit your BIOS. Your computer will restart. There is a possibility that you might not be able to find the Secure Boot setting. Some computers will load Secure Boot keys under a custom tab and others won't allow you to enable Secure Boot until certain factory settings are restored. If you're unable to access or change these settings, it's best to call your computer's manufacturer and have them give you a clear answer or walk you through the process of enabling Secure Boot. And there you have it. You've now enabled TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. You'll now be able to continue with your Windows 11 installation. If you're unable to find these options, there is a possibility that your computer doesn't have TPM or Secure Boot. And if that's the case, then you'll have to buy a new computer for Windows 11. But don't worry, Microsoft has said that Windows 10 will be continued to be supported through October of 2025. So you have plenty of time to continue using your machine safely. Plus, by 2025, you'll probably want to buy a new computer anyway. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in getting Windows 11, I've left a link to it in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to How To Do It All for all things how-to. See ya!